super realize it at that time. And that's why I responded like defensive. Mm -hmm. And I just want to say to everybody that I'm super sorry. I'm a Dominican woman. I have family members that are dark skinned. My daughter's a black girl. Like it just was to even speak on skin tone. Like I realized how like messed up that is now. I don't know. I just think I wasn't really thinking. It was very like ignorant, you know? And then I've done my research and I've done all that now. And I've seen like how sad it could be like for, for dark skinned women in the industry, in the music, mm -hmm. TV, film, regular life in general. Like yeah. it's a big problem. And I guess, you know, God wanted to teach me and show me like, so that's how he did it. We were like lit in the studio and it was just like throwing words mm -hmm. around and so, but I could see how it was taken being in the situation that I was in. Yeah, I kind of feel like this is just basically her saying she's sorry because she feels this is a thing she finds she's sad about because her own daughter is dark-skinned. I think she's basically apologizing for having a dark-skinned daughter. I think she thinks now, oh, it's so sad, and it's doom and gloom for dark-skinned women, and she sees it through the eyes of the future for her daughter, who is dark-skinned. And to me, that's just sad. This is these are the type of people who create colorism um, people. People who cry about colorism, I guess you could say. Um, usually they come from a light-skinned biracial or, you know, mixed-race mother or light-skinned black mother who um, might have some kind of issue going on there. Not as in they're bad mothers, just like they see the world through the same eyes as that dark-skinned woman who doesn't want to be dark-skinned. That's how they see it. They see it as if it is a curse or something bad, basically. And that's how she described it, like how hard it can be for black women who are darker-skinned, right? For me, from my perspective, I just don't see it that way. I might be lighter than a lot of dark-skinned black women. I am. But I don't see it as you have it worse than me kind of thing. I see it as you moan and you moan just because you saw darker skin in the mirror. But did you actually experience life worse than me? Hell no. If anything, you got more protections for being dark skinned because people respect your blackness more than they respect mine. So having that mindset is bad. Because what is she going to teach her dark-skinned daughter? She's going to teach her to basically have an inferiority complex about her skin tone. She's going to teach her that she will struggle more simply because she's dark-skinned. Why give your child a bad introductory on skin tone? I don't care what skin tone that kid is. Why give them a bad introductory? Like, if I had any children... I would never try to teach them that they are less than white people because my child will obviously be darker than white people no matter who I have a child with, most likely. Um, so I wouldn't teach them that they are inferior to white people or that they're going to struggle through life more than other white, more than white people, you know, um, just because they are you know, black, like that's teaching someone to have some resentment towards their blackness. You know, you're not teaching them to love themselves, love their skin tone, love their phenotype. You're teaching them to bemoan it and act like it's some kind of disability, some kind of curse or some kind of bad trait that you have because you're darker than a lot of other black people, you know. So that's just how I see that on the whole thing of, um, Danny Lay, I do not see anything wrong with her song. I do not. I am not a yellow bone myself. 
I am brown skinned. I'm like Halle Berry's color, basically. Um, but I did not find any offense to her saying that yellow bone is what he wants. I don't even want black men. I don't care if all black men wanted her <laughs> yellow bone complexion. I wouldn't really care. Um, it's not my preference. And I don't think, anyway, what's it? If that was the case, why would it be her fault? I don't get it. Because shouldn't she like her own skin tone? I mean, I know I love my skin tone. And I think dark-skinned black women should love their skin tone. So I don't understand what's wrong with her liking her own complexion and wanting men to like her for her complexion. I think, if anyone, we should be looking at is the dark-skinned black man who doesn't want to be dark-skinned and wanting a woman who's light-skinned like her or something of that nature also with that in mind I do not specifically think of her as a yellow bone but I'm just saying since she was calling herself that you know and also I do see her as a black woman I know a lot of other people were trying to say she wasn't black she is black um her DNA results were a quarter black so that means she is black she's mixed with black so you know I mean people will say her daughter's black but she's not black you guys have to make it make sense you know but, yeah, that's basically all I have to say in this video. Um, I more so had more of an issue with how she was saying she perceived dark-skinned black women and how that would relate to her dark-skinned black daughter more than her making a song on Yellow Bone is what he wants. If all her men she's ever been with want Yellow Bones, good for them. They want her, at least they like her skin tone. And that they need to like, you know, everything about her to make it work out well. You know, and that's up to her to have successful relationships, you know. I don't really concern myself with what Danny Lay does in her personal relationships and things of that nature. But I'm just saying that didn't offend me. What offended me, well, it didn't offend me, but I saw as a problem was her view on dark-skinned black women and... This is a view that dark-skinned black women perpetuate on themselves, so it's not even really her fault. But they, but the fact that she bought it is a bad thing because it's bad for her daughter because she's dark-skinned and she's gonna have to have the repercussions of basically seeing her dark skin as less than, and basically having a mother who's basically apolog apologizing for that. All while dark-skinned black women are co-signing what she's basically saying that dark-skinned black women have it worse and that they are basically inferior simply because they are darker, you know. That's a sad situation. No one should feel less than for being dark-skinned. No one should feel like their skin tone is a struggle. Everyone's skin tone is beautiful and should be embraced. So that's all I have to say. I'm out. Thanks. Bye, guys.